Hello. I hope you're having a good day. It's really good to see you. Um, today I'm going to show you some outfits. They're very basic. There's not a lot to them. They're not really complicated or anything. Um, I've scheduled um, a photography session, a photo shoot for my kids and me because we haven't had any pictures made together in quite a while. And I'm going to keep it very simple, very basic. We're not going to do anything really formal or anything like that. Um, so originally it was supposed to be later in the week, but there's been a, uh, a schedule change. So I've had to go ahead and figure out what we're going to wear. For my kids, I'm going to keep it really simple. They're just going to wear uh, just a white button down long sleeve shirt and jeans and just, you know, cause they, they don't like to get all dressed up. So I'm just kind of have them wear just a white shirt and some jeans and just some, I don't know, dark shoes of some sort. And um, for me, I'm going to wear jeans and I wanted to wear a top that's not too uh, formal or, you know, really, really fancy or dressy or anything like that. So I've picked out a few things and I'm going to show them to you. And um, and so we'll just see what all I have picked out. As far as the shoes, I'm keeping the shoes very simple. I'm just going to wear a pair of um, sandals. Maybe, um, depending on the, the outfit, the, the top, I might wear uh, white sandals or brown. Just depending on how it looks to me with the, with the shirt, with the top. And um, I'm going to show you the jeans first. Now, the jeans are kind of interchangeable. I may go with a darker pair or a lighter pair. Just tell me what you think. And I'm going to show you the jeans. And I only have two pairs here to, to pick from. So I figure whichever top I pick, I will just select the pair of jeans that I feel looks better with that top. Now this first pair is, is a light, it's sort of a light wash, you can tell. These are seven, and I love these jeans. I wear them so much in the fall and winter. Um, but they're just, they're a, a faded wash. They're not dark. Um, so this is the first pair, and I love these. They're just, I just love this pair of jeans. It, they're, they're like magic. It doesn't matter. <laughs> they always fit me. It really doesn't matter. Um, they seem to change with me. It's really weird. So they have kind of a straight leg to them. They're not skinny jeans, but they're not boot cut either. It's just kind of a straight leg. And then there's some fraying at the bottom, but they're... I think they're made to look kind of distressed. So that's the first pair. And I'm actually leaning more towards the darker pair, mainly because my kids are both wearing kind of dark wash jeans. So this is the second pair. Um, and these are by Express. And I really like these also. See, they're, they're much darker than the first pair. And we have some designs here on the pocket. And they're just, um, they're also kind of, I'd say these might be a little bit more of a boot cut. They have more of a flare down here than the lighter than the lighter pair. But um, these, I, I, I'll probably end up going with these just because both of my kids are wearing jeans about this dark. So I'll probably I'll probably go with these. Or I could do something just ridiculous and wear like something really formal and flashy, like something with sequins and stuff. I'm probably not going to because that would involve like, ooh, I could put on a wig and really fancy makeup, but that that's probably not going to happen. <laughs> I'm lazy. Okay, I'm going to show you the first. Now I'm going to show you the jewelry. Like, I love these earrings. Uh, this is not an option, although maybe it should be. I don't know. Um, this is a layered. I'm going to show you this. This is just what I happen to have on today. Um, this is all one piece, but it's made to look like two shirts, but it's actually not. Um, just a, a very simple short sleeve shirt. And this is the necklace that I picked to go with it. And these earrings, which I love. <laughs> they look like they would be heavy. They're actually not. They're very lightweight. So that's just what I happen to have on today. It's totally unrelated to the to the uh, the photo shoot, but actually, after I got dressed this morning, I thought, you know, you should save that outfit and wear that for the pictures, but I probably won't. So this is the first selection that I made, 
and I put these together uh, earlier this morning. Now what we have here is, um, this is actually a men's shirt, and you can see that you can roll the sleeves up right here, and you have this little piece here that you just button it to hold the cuff where you want it. Um, this is a uh, Banana Republic shirt, and it has these little things here, like you would have the little piece that comes up and goes through, you tuck it under the little tabs, um, or, you know, something like that. It's made for something. I think it's just for looks. But it's a two-pocket, button-down, green and white, very subtle green and white plaid shirt. And under that, I have this. Like, I would just wear the, the button-down shirt open, or maybe tie it at the waist. But under that, I just have a very basic, very simple white tank top by Karen Kane. And you see it's not as long as the button-down shirt. So I was thinking maybe... I, I probably didn't, would decide this when I put it on, but um, maybe gather up the shirt and tie it down here at the waist so that, um, you know, it covers the bottom of the tank top, but it's, it's, it looks more, a little more fitted at the waist instead of just hanging loose. And to go with that, we have this necklace right here. You see, it's very long, but I like it because it has all these different colors in it. And it does have a little bit of green in it that matches the shirt. But I think just the basic general colors of this necklace look really good with this button-down shirt. And it's so long that you can even fold it or like, you know, double it up. And you could wear it like that. See? And to go with this necklace, I have some earrings. I'm going to show you. This is one of my favorite pair of earrings. I wear these all the time. We have these sort of bronze hoop earrings. And you can see it kind of matches the bronze in the necklace. But since I don't have pierced ears, see it's a spring clip and it just clips right onto my earlobe like this one does. This one is basically just a smaller version of this. Um, I've explained it before, but for, for new uh, subscribers, I had pierced ears a long time ago when I was really young. I got them pierced when I was 12 and I had constant problems with them. Um, they never, they never really healed up quite right. And after a couple of years of, of just constantly having problems, I just let them grow up. And now I have an extensive, extensive collection of clip-on earrings. So I'm not, I'm not punished in any way. I have plenty of earrings. I could wear a different pair of earrings probably for six months and not, and not run out. <laughs> it's ridiculous. But, um, so... Any earrings that I show you are going to be clip-on earrings. I love these. I got these on eBay. I think they were about $10. And I've never found another pair this color like this on there, so I'm really glad I got them. So what we would have would be these earrings right here with this top, this shirt, with the white tank top underneath, and this necklace right here. And probably what I'm going to do is um, whatever we don't pick, whatever whatever I don't wear for the pictures, I will just keep these outfits put together. Let's say for these earrings, I can just put them right there like that. Whatever I don't wear for the pictures, I may just save it and wear it to work. So I have, have something to wear to work. I just have to pick a different pair of pants because I can't wear, well, I can wear jeans on Fridays, but no other day. So I could just pick, I have lots of skirts and uh, slacks, trousers that I could wear. So I don't, wouldn't really have any trouble finding a pair of pants or a skirt to go with any of these. So this is the first one and I would wear the sleeves cuffed like this. I went ahead and rolled them up when I got the shirt out to include as a possible outfit. I went ahead and just rolled them up and secured them with the little piece here that buttons to the sleeve right there. So that's the first option. I'm going to hang that right over here. And these are in no particular order. Um, I just brought them in here. Now, you can kind of see a theme. I'm kind of going, I kind of had an idea for what I wanted. I wanted kind of um, a simple layered look. Kind of like this, you know, where you, it's not just one shirt or one blouse or whatever. It's, um, it's a layered look. Now, here's the second one. It's kind of hard to see. I love, I love this tank top. It's so pretty. Um, and I 
can't read that. Um, Lulu, Lulu Mari, Lulu Mani, I don't know, I can't read it, but this is the tank top right here, and I really love this. I wear this a lot just by itself because it's just so pretty. I like the colors. You have this navy blue, and then in, you have embroidery. It's sort of a, like a copper color. And then this piece right here is stitched on to this tie-dyed blue ribbed tank top. And when I was trying to pick a necklace to go with it, um, I tried a couple that had that would incorporate some of these colors in here, but none of them really looked right to me. None of them really, I don't know, it was just too much or something because you already have a lot going on here. You have a lot of detail here. So I wanted to keep the necklace kind of simple, but still really pretty. So um, I went with this one and it's just silver. It doesn't have any other colors in it. It even has a few rhinestones in the, in the pendant right here. They're kind of hard to see. And then this piece just hangs independently. Now I have some earrings that match the center of that pendant, but they were, they're kind of small and I didn't really want to wear them with this. I just thought I needed something a little different. Now the top is also one of my favorites. I wish it was a little bit longer. It's a little bit short. It falls kind of, I wish it would fall a little bit lower, but it's still okay. This is by Hannah and Gracie. I'm going to show you the back because here you can really see the embroidery and the very subtle stripes in the fabric. Isn't it pretty? Now this shirt has three quarter sleeves right here that fold up. I'll show you how they fold up. I didn't fold them ahead of time. See they fold like this and it's kind of sheer so I would always wear something under it anyway because it's 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 uh, it's semi transparent. I can't you know I'd have to wear something under it anyway. So um, so we have this and it would be it, again it would be open. I would not button up this part. I would leave it kind of open so you can see this part. And for earrings, I went back and forth on several different types of earrings. I looked at hoops. I looked at dangle earrings like these. It seemed like a lot of them were just too ornate and you already have a lot going on here although it may not look like it um, because you already have an embroidered pattern in the shirt and you have the subtle stripes and then with the tank top you have a lot going on here too so I wanted earrings that had a presence to them you know you could really see them but they didn't jump out at you as much as this does right here which is why I went with a, a, a necklace with no other colors, just the silver. So what I ultimately decided for the earrings for this outfit, um, I went with these right here. Now these to me, um, you know, you're going to notice that. I mean, it's they're, they're pretty big. If you see that, they're slightly larger than a quarter. But I thought with these, they're not overpowering. They're not, they're, your eyes are not really going to be drawn to these. They're not just going to stay there. You're not just going to focus on them and go, oh my God, those earrings are huge or whatever. But it has enough of that kind of burnished silver to it to kind of complement the necklace, in my opinion. They kind of have the same feel to them, in my opinion. So, um, it's an airplane going. <laughs> Um, so I, I went with these ultimately and it's kind of cool because I don't wear these much. Most of the outfits I wear, I just feel like these wouldn't look right. So it was kind of nice to put together something that I thought would look good with these earrings because I almost, I almost never wear them. Aren't they pretty? They have this uh, black, it's like a rhinestone. It's glass. It's like a, a glass piece in the middle. And it's it's spark it's a little shiny, a little sparkly, but not much. It's it's pretty subtle. So those are gonna go with this right here. So this was my second um, choice. I mean, not not in order, but this was the second outfit I put together. Hang that right there. Now this third one is a little bit different um, 
because it has no sleeves and it's not it's not a basic button-down shirt like the others now this consists of two tops again we have just a basic tank top underneath um, and this is by White House Black Market and it's just a basic tank top and this this frilly gauzy sleeveless top is by New York and Company I'll show you the back I'm gonna fix the ruffle right there so you see that the ruffles kind of part here at the top of the shoulder right here so they kind of fall down like if this is your shoulder they're just gonna kind of fall like that and it's very gauzy very summery and uh, we're coming up on the end of summer and you know I'd like to have one last one last summer outfit you know <laughs> and I picked to go with this the reason I picked just the white shirt and the white tank top was because I wanted to really show off this necklace here and if you saw my walkthrough video in Walmart yesterday I had this on and I was wearing it and I thought you know I would love to put together an outfit where I could incorporate this necklace and have that necklace be kind of the focal point of what I had on so I thought well one good way to do that would be to just wear just wear white you know don't don't add any other colors to your top just wear just wear all white or all black or whatever just pick a solid color and go with that see it has turquoise in it and kind of a taupe color and it's all held together with these bronze links and I really like this necklace I don't wear it much but every time I do I think I should wear this necklace more I really like it and then it gets put away and I forget about it <laughs> I have a lot of necklaces like that so this is pretty basic but I think it's really gonna stand out now this ruffled shirt does not button all the way down it buttons about halfway and then beneath that there are no more buttons it's just solid so I would leave it unbuttoned a bit not all the way down I might button this one right here so that the necklace will show and this part is not going to cover it up and I would lay it over the white tank top underneath the ruffled shirt and to go with this I have the earrings that I also had on yesterday which I will show you here now see the earrings and all these pieces of jewelry I got separately these were not um, sets or anything I love these earrings though now these are um, the metal the metal part is kind of a gunmetal black and you see we have this hoop here we have this round part and here's the spring clip hoop that attaches to my earlobe right here like this one does but it incorporates that beautiful turquoise color that goes so well with this necklace and I do want the necklace and the earrings to be the thing that you that just draws your eye you know you're drawn you're drawn to look at that part so I wanted to wear something that was really noticeable so this large surface area of, of the turquoise color I thought would be perfect for that it's kind of well I'd say it's more of a teal color I guess so anyway I have the earrings see and the necklace so again whatever I don't pick for the photo shoot I can I'll keep it out and I will have something to put on for work I always put my outfits together the night before that way when I get up in the morning I don't I don't have to think it through I don't have to because I'm really bad to just when I wake up I'll just stand in the closet and just you know I don't know <laughs> I'm just I can't think I can't process that so early in the morning so I take five minutes the night before and I'll just throw something together like I'll pick out a dress or a skirt or slacks or whatever and a top and the jewelry and the shoes and it really I mean I can do it in five minutes or less and it saves a lot of trouble the next morning sometimes I do wake up and change my mind like I will wake up for some reason thinking about a particular piece of jewelry or 
um, an article of clothing and I will decide I'd actually rather wear that than what I have picked out. So I'll save whatever I have picked out and I'll wear it another day, like the next day or something. So um, that's how this one is different. No sleeves, no uh, regular button down shirt, but we still have the white tank top underneath like one of the other ones. So that's number three. Back that up. Now this is the fourth and final choice right here. I fix the necklace. The necklace keeps turning the wrong way. All right, here we go. Personally, I think this is my favorite. Um, and I went ahead and tied it. This is a long, uh, very gauzy, striped white top. It's kind of old. It actually has a couple holes in it because I've, I've worn it a lot. Uh, but it goes with everything. It goes with absolutely everything. It was made by Believe, B apostrophe L E E V. But it's very stretchy, and this part is very long. See, this is the part that you tie, or you can leave it loose or whatever you want to do with it. With this particular outfit, I would tie it at the waist. I'm going to untie it for now just to show you the top that's under it because the top that is under it. Is so cute. It's really beautiful. I love the color and I want you to be able to see it. Okay. I love this purple. Look at this. It is a very dark purple and it has sewn into it little glass beads that are also purple. And it has this ribbed texture. This is by Cable and Gage. And it is a tank top, as you can see. The only thing I don't like about this tank top is that the little glass beads go all the way around, like back here. And when you're walking, your arms kind of rub on those glass beads. And they're kind of, they have sharp, not sharp edges, but they have irritating edges <laughs> if they rub on your skin. Um, so when I do wear this tank top, I always wear something over it. So I have something between my arm and these beads because they go all the way around to the side but I love this color I absolutely love this purple color and to go with it I picked this necklace I was originally going to go with one that had purple stones but then I spotted this one and I said you know I like this one better this is so pretty it has pink rhinestones and then just some pink glass beads in there and it's a Y necklace. See it comes down to make a Y right here. And it has a silver chain right there. But I just thought that was so pretty. I didn't originally think of wearing a pink necklace with this top. I really thought I really want to go with dark purple. I want to find something that has um, dark purple beads to match the top. But while I was looking for a particular necklace, this one caught my eye and I said, you know what? I actually like this better, especially with a white top over it. It kind of complements the pink to me. looks really nice with this white top. So I said, okay, we'll go with that. And that kind of changed my mind about the earrings that should go with it. I had a different pair of earrings in mind. But once I went with this necklace, I changed the earrings that I wanted to find. And I actually had to search for them quite a bit. I didn't, I couldn't find them. <laughs> See, I had, I had all my jewelry arranged a certain way before I moved here. And we moved in about three months ago. And when we moved, a lot of my jewelry just sort of got all mixed up and put where I didn't want it. And it was my fault. I did it. Um, I didn't arrange it back exactly the way I had it before. So these I had to actually look for. But these are smaller than some of the other earrings I may have shown you. I don't want you to see these. Now these also, they're dangle. They're dangle earrings, but not very long. A little over an inch. But they also have pink rhinestones in them. Just like the necklace does. You can see. But these did not come together. Um, I got them both at the same thrift store, but I bought them at two separate times. <laughs> so um, 
I like them because they hang down. You're actually going to be able to see them. I don't know if you've noticed. I don't wear many small earrings. <laughs> I usually wear longer ones. Um, but they're going to hang down and they're going to be noticeable. But they're not so big that they're overpowering. Because I wanted to give this necklace a little bit more attention because it's not big and flashy. Um, so I didn't want thing I didn't want anything to draw away too much attention from the necklace. So I thought these earrings were perfect. I actually had another pair that had pink rhinestones, but they were about this long. And I thought that was just too much for this the little necklace that could right here. <laughs> if this necklace were bigger and flashier, it would be different. Um or if the necklace were a little more subtle, I might go with earrings that will catch your eye instead of the necklace. But as it is, I think it balances out really well to have these earrings with this necklace right here. And the lovely purple top. Which again, you can see how long this is. And you can see the holes in it. <laughs> it's really old. But the holes right here don't show when you have it tied. Like if you take these pieces and you have them tied right here they don't show so I don't worry about it it's an extremely thin material and it doesn't take much to uh, to, to damage it so but I still like it I still wear it in the summertime quite a bit because it goes with it goes with everything it really does um, and I haven't been able to find another one exactly like it so I'm just gonna stick with it you can see on the back how sheer it is. You can see so much of the purple tank top back here. So um, those are my choices for the outfits. And I, I'm probably going to go with this one. I really, I really love that purple. I love the purple tank top. So this is probably the one I'm going to wear. I haven't decided 100%. I may change my mind before, before uh, we actually get to time for... The pictures to be taken but right now that's kind of the front runner so anyway um thank you very much for coming to see my outfits i know a lot of people have requested another um where to work video where i put together my five outfits for the week i definitely want to do that i just i haven't had time to do it i've been busy with other things but i'm definitely going to do it so um thank you very much for watching and i'll see you again soon